Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been getting my friends and family for Christmas. Maybe just as a, I don't know, like a little ideas video. I know I'll probably be uploading this after Christmas just so I don't spoil any gifts for anyone. But I feel like this may help people with birthdays, not only just Christmas. So yeah, let's get into it. These just don't say anything about my hair. Just, just don't say anything. It's just like, I know, I know. So the first thing that I got was a Nutribullet and I got this for my boyfriend's family because I wanted something practical that they will use and something that everyone in the family will definitely like because look, if I buy something individual for each member of the family, it makes it really difficult for me and makes the shopping list even longer and harder. I have to put more thought into it and I'm just so busy these days. I don't want to think too much into what to get each individual person. So I think this Nutribullet is perfect. Inside, it comes with three different size cups. Yeah, no, I've heard good things about this one. This one's the mega pack, which I think is what the three cups are. So the next gift that I got was this puzzle here with the Bondi ice bags on it. Oh, that's a terrible reflection, but it's got the Bondi ice bags on it. Super duper cute. It's from the brand Sunny Life. And this is a secret Santa gift. Um, so the budget was $20, but I think I spent a little bit more than that. I think this one was like 25, but that's okay. But this is super duper good gift. Like I'm not really familiar or close with this person from work. Like I just started working there about three months ago. Met this person maybe like four times in the office because we all have different work from home and work in the office schedule. So a little puzzle is nice. I'm um, little something I can do. And I feel like this is so aesthetic. They could just keep it on your little dining table or something like as decor. So that is the next thing that I got for someone. So my mom is the most organized person ever. She really like requires things to be like to the date, to the time. So I got her a diary. Well, she kind of asked for a diary, but I got her this one. This one's from Dimmy and it's the Brangs Collins and I really love the faux leather feeling of it. I love the purple. I think this is a really, really nice diary for her. And the inside, nothing too special, just pretty much all the dates and all the um, little times on them. So for my sister and her boyfriend, I think I'm still gonna shop for a few more things for them because this is not really that much. So first thing I got was this here. This one is a Rick and Morty pair of socks. So my sister on her year 12 jacket, she put on the back of her um, nickname, she wrote Get Swifty, which is from Rick and Morty. So I thought she would really like these socks. Oh yeah, like they're, they're pretty cool, I reckon. So I think she'll really like those. And then I also got, <laughs> this looks like it's a stab at him, but it's not, I promise. I just thought the egg was really cute. So this one's for my sister's boyfriend. It's a calendar as well. You can't go wrong with a little calendar, you know, just to keep up to date with what the day is. So, and those are all the little designs. I think my favorite one is the send nudes one. That one's really funny. So I'm still shopping for a few more things for my partner, but I have already started shopping for him. We've set each other a $120 limit because we're kind of not really into items anymore. I think we're more into experiences. We're more into like traveling and going down the coast together. So like maybe next time I'll get him one of those like mystery flights. But I, that, I feel like mystery flights take a lot of time and effort to plan. Like you need to pick days that we are both free and can take leave. We need to make sure we both have the annual leave for it. Like, and what if we go somewhere mysterious that we don't like? Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. First thing I got him was some Calvin Klein underwear because, um, I had a gift card and it was expiring and he actually got me this gift card and I, I've used it quite a few times already, but I think I want to give back and get him some nice underwear. This stuff is like the cooling stuff, working, wicking, wicking technology to keep you cool. Had some pretty good stuff. And I also got him on a Black Friday sale day. This shirt is from Academy brand. It's got tan stripes and white stripes. So I think this will be perfect for, I don't know, a little bit of the cooler days in the summer, like the nights, because you know, La Nina, La Nina, La Nina, something like that. Something like that's happening. And I feel like this is a really good gift, but yeah, not done shopping for him. I actually do have a few more suggestions. That's a little bit cheaper and under the $50 budget range. So I got this as a secret Santa gift from one of my best friends, Natasha. I haven't opened it yet. I only just got it a few days ago and I've been out and about for the past few days. So I got a Google Nest Mini, which I'm really excited to use. You can hook up a whole bunch of crap to it. So that's a really good gift. That is um, $39 when I was at JB Hi-Fi today. That's what I saw. So that would be a pretty good gift. I also want to show you these beautiful glasses. They're from number 22 home and they are so pretty. I don't know how much these are. I got these as PR, but they are beautiful. I love the ridge edges. And um, every time I bring these out for a shoot and the girls are there, they're like, I want to use them. Can I borrow them? I'm like, of course you can. So yeah, whoops. So yeah, this is number 22 home. This is not sponsored. I just really, really like these glasses. I think they're super cute. Also, if you know another creator, a really good gift is a podcast mic or a little microphone to hook up for the YouTube videos, even the reels, TikToks, anything. I haven't opened mine yet since my birthday. I've got this for my birthday and I still love it, but I haven't opened it because I haven't had a chance to just sit down and create a talk video or like just use this. I really, really want to open this up and use it sometime in the new year. It's just at the moment, work's been crazy. Everyone is, you know, catching up with the birthdays. We're having the birthdays now instead of later. 
So yeah, really full on, but a podcast mic or like just a microphone in general is a really, really good gift. Another incredible gift is a dried floral arrangement. Renee got me this and I love it. It's so pretty. And because it's a dried floral arrangement, they're meant to last up to two years. So instead of getting someone like a fresh bouquet, try looking to getting them a dried floral arrangement because it's more of a, not a permanent because it dies eventually, but more of like a, you know, like a long standing decor piece for their room. This one is gorgeous and these, Vases are from Country Road, but I got these for free from work because they were gonna chuck them out and I said no, I want it. So yeah, Country Road has some vases if you want to look into them. If not, I've seen like Typo have some pretty cool pots. Typo has some nice ones, even Kmart. If you want to look for something like budget friendly, I would go there for sure. Another really good gift idea is getting someone a film camera if they're really into those vintage looking photos or like they have that kind of vintage aesthetic. So I got this one from Amazon. This one was $60, but it came with one roll of film and I haven't developed any photos yet, but I already know I love it. This one comes in pink, but I know they come in different colors like purple. Um, they come in yellow. They also come in like that seafoam green kind of color. They come in blue. So yeah, this is a really good gift. Obviously I got pink because pink's my favorite color. I am wearing it right now. So yeah, this one is a very good gift idea for those who are super duper into like vintage cameras and you know, film photography. And I already gave my secret Santa gift to someone, but I got her these reusable beeswax you use them instead of cling wrap like I don't, I don't know how to explain it they're like beeswax covers for your bowls and plates and you can store them in the fridge and stuff and how you use them is you swarm them up between your hands and then you mold it to the shape of the bowl or the plate and it keeps your food like how clean wrap would it like it stores it for you and they're reusable and they're you know you can wash them and everything so that's a really good like sustainable eco-friendly idea that you can look into and lastly a really good gift idea is a beach umbrella okay i'm really saying this because i really want one and i haven't just bought one for myself i'm just hoping someone buys one for me for my birthday next year or for christmas this year or christmas next year i just don't want to put the money down and buy it myself because they are pretty expensive like sunday supply co ones are 250 dollars but a really nice big beach umbrella super like aesthetic bright white to bounce off the sunlight like I think it's so nice and it's actually practical you know like like yeah you have to lug it down to the beach but once you're under the you know under the shade it's fine you're sun protected you're not burning your skin like you're still, you're still vibing so yeah I have a few more gifts to buy and once they come in I'm gonna show you guys everything hopefully this video is not too messy all my videos are very messy at the moment but hopefully that will give you like kind of a good idea as a gift guide and what to get people for Christmas hello it is like quite a few days in advance since I last filmed and um, I look very ratchet like this eyeliner is had a bad day okay my, my eyeliner had a bad day but I want to show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got for my friends and fam so the last two gifts that I got for Cole what do you think is in here it's a mallet he wanted me to get him a mallet so I got him a mallet so he's getting a mallet from me and then in here I know I wrapped it I shouldn't have wrapped it but I, I just did okay I just did I got him a file like an industrial looking file not like a like a nail file like big old work file i also got for my sister and her boyfriend some candles that they can use because everyone loves a good candle what can i say i got those candles from dusk because i was in the westwood at the time but i highly recommend getting candles from a small business because you know it will make their day i like to get my candle melts from hot stuff waxes i love her stuff she is just Maddie, who runs this, like she's incredible. And then I've also gotten this candle from Athena Lux, which is made by my friend Chris. You should definitely check them out. I love hand, like handmade candles. I think they're really sweet. Another really great gift idea is our personalized gifts. This is a Mason de Sabre case. It's got my birth year on it. I love Mason de Sabre. I work with them on Instagram, but I don't work with them across YouTube. So this isn't like me trying to sell you guys something, but. I love the cases. This is just so cute. And I also have one from the Disney collection. I've got my initials on this one. I thought that, I thought it was really sweet, you know? It was just really, really cute. And I've also got this mini bag from them. Yeah, little mini bag. I think they're really cute as well. Personalized card holder. I think this one is like a winner, like a little card holder. Can't go wrong, you just can't go wrong. So for those who are like super into makeup, I think like a really good small gift idea if you don't want to spend too much for them is a little travel size powder set. And a little I don't know where I got this little brush from, but I love it. But what I like to do when I'm really sweaty, I like to have a little dip in the powder. When I'm on the go, and I just like go like this across my head, and like I get all nice and matte. And I think it's such a good gift. I don't know if this is really unsanitary, but I know like at least 20 people, 20 people, when I'm out, they see me using it, they're always like, oh, can I borrow some? Can I have some of that? Yeah, trust me, 
people out there who love to powder their faces because they're a little bit sweaty will really like this as a gift. Another really great gift idea is looking out for small businesses and like Etsy. I'm sure there's plenty on Instagram, on Depop who make little crochet goods. <laughs> I love this little hat. Wait, let me take my glasses. Like, this hat is super duper cute. I wear it all the time in the summer. This is one my boyfriend's mum made, which is just adorable. But there's plenty of little Etsy and um, smaller stores around. I know Bad Days label makes crocheted bags. Shout out to Rachel. So make sure you go check them out as well. Also, if you know anyone who's kind of into decor and into like designer at the same time, I got these books from Amazon. I think they were 20 each. So six, oh, I sit myself in the face. They were 20 each, but 60 for the pack. And they put Dior, Gucci and Chanel. I think these are like really nice for a little flat lay. I know a few of the girls who um, went to the shoot day with me, they really like these and um, who wouldn't? So also a good gift there. Oh my gosh, a really good gift like for this season is a packet of these disposable masks for people to leave in their car or in their bag. How many times have you guys gone out and said, oh my God, I left my mask at home? Happened to me quite a few times, except when I bought myself a packet of these to leave in my car. It's a lifesaver. It's a lifesaver. So maybe even just a packet of this disposable mask or even a reusable one for a friend to leave in their car, leave in their bag on purpose so they don't forget it when they're out. Very good idea. So yeah, hopefully this messy video, all my videos are a bit chaotic lately, so thank you guys for still watching. But yeah, hopefully you guys see something that you like that maybe is a good suggestion for someone you know. And if you have any more ideas, put in the comments because I'd like to know some ideas. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, do whatever you like, and stay safe these holidays. Bye!